The critical posterior palatal seal, pressure on the palatal aponeurosi created by the tensor vili palatini muscle. Go ahead and on your merged part, click freeform, and we're gonna go ahead and add our pressure here. Unclick, keep bottom boundary fixed and thickness, and turn on over here, distance to scan data, nearest point distance. Create a custom scale, 10 microns all the way to 800. And remember, we're gonna add this pressure starting with the distalmost region of our denture, the vibrating line. And we're gonna create that pressure specifically for pressure on the palate to create a better border seal of your denture and to prevent food impaction. And also we're gonna create that decrease in gag reflex by doing this. 800 microns pressure right at the depth of the palatal aponeurosi, and then we're gonna go ahead and smooth that up. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and add the patient's name. And to do that, we're in the same tool. We're gonna to go to attachment over here, and then we're gonna to go to library, go all the way down to text, type in in this box your patient's name and set your size and thickness that you want it to emboss into the denture. And what we're gonna do is just click anywhere on the denture that you want that name to be, and it's going to instantly cut the name. Now, I like the Flow Blue Flowable Composite in there created by Empress Direct called Empress Direct Colors, and that's going to create a beautiful name for the patient. All right, guys, that is about it. Don't forget, always add those posterior palatal seals.